Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Prisoner of War. Um, I'm really excited about this game. I mean, it, it's not running incredibly brilliantly, but it's not running badly. It, it's doable. Uh, I think it will be okay-ish. If not, then I might have to try and get the PC version to work again and see what I can do with that. But I think I was able to play that after a while. You the barrack officer? Absolutely. Wing Commander Temple Smithson. And there's no need to introduce yourself, Captain Stone. We've heard all about the show you put on at the holding camp. Gather you lost a chap. Rotten luck. Luck? I had the chance to stop him and I didn't. Best not to blame yourself, old fellow. Jerry's the one to point the finger at. And you're bound to get a chance to hit back at him. You can count on it. I don't plan on making this a long stay. Ah, oh, indeed. Good show. Now, you're quartered in Barrack 2. The chaps there should make you welcome. That'll be all. Actually, Stone, why don't you come and see me once you're settled in? We might be able to help each other out. Alright, so first things first. You may have noticed this chap over here. Who's this? Standing on his own. I don't have time for idle chat. Go and bother someone else, there's a good fellow. Not now, you're distracting me. Alright, so basically later on, uh, this area will become very important. Especially that building. Very important. Do not obstruct me, American, or you will be sent to the cooler. Time for dinner. Out of my way! God. 
you shouldn't be here. No, I can't do it. You can't get in there. It's just not possible. Not at the moment, anyway. Kept in stone, is it not? The wing commander pointed you out to me. He asks that you join us in the barracks. Perhaps now? Sure. Good a time as any. Ah, good of you to drop in, Captain. Perhaps you've met Major Nikolai Radko of the Polish Army. The Major heads up our escape committee. Captain Stone might make a valuable addition to the team, wouldn't you say, Major? I wish I could share your faith in human nature, sir. But experience has taught me to make new friends with caution. Welcoming as ever, eh, Radka? Then how about setting stone a little test? Just like being back in high school. Very well. Captain, we will have a tape placed in your hiding place in Barrack 2. You are tasked with taking it to the administration building and playing it over the camp's address system. Just a little wheeze to lift the chap's spirits and get one over on Jerry to boot. That's all? Then I'm in. Should you experience difficulties, you are free to consult us at any time. If the wing commander has judged you correctly, that should not be necessary. Dismissed. And it won't be necessary because I'm not going to need any assistance. Good morning, gentlemen. It appears you are all present and correct. Dismissed. I am not interested. Go away. I don't have time to speak to prisoners. Not now. You're dis...
Oberjäger, what is the meaning of this? My apologies, Herr Kommandant. It must have been one of the prisoners. I don't want your excuses, Oberjäger. I want that noise stopped now. And if a prisoner was responsible, I want that prisoner found. And halt! Going somewhere, Colonel? I thought you looked like trouble. Oberjäger, lock this man up. Time to get back to the escape committee for a pat on the back. I'm not actually sure how I'm going to get out of here. I can't actually remember. On the fence! Oh, that other guard is in there. I think he can give you something if you give him enough currency. Which I probably will do in the, when we come back here. Getting along all right, Stone? Jolly good. That's the way. I played the tape. Now you're going to help me get out of here? All in good time, Stone. Best to chat about it later, though, eh? Jolly good work with the tape, old boy. I haven't seen the chap so happy in months. But there's been a hitch. Your prank was actually a ruse to distract Jerry while one of our boys swiped some documents from the Commandant's office. But he wasn't quite careful enough. Or somebody tipped off the guards. Not the Justin type, are you, Major? But I'm feeling generous, so I'll tell you what. Leave it to me. I'll have those papers on your desk in no time. Good show, Stone. That's the spirit. But you might find it easier if you go in undercover. If you get your hands on a German uniform, sniffing around Jerry's huts would be your best bet. Although, some of them may well be locked. Major, any chance of rustling up a key? I will have one placed in the captain's hiding place in Beric 2. I'm touched, Major. I didn't know you cared. Now, you didn't have to get that brass key that I got, but I decided to get it anyway. <laughs> And we're actually going to skip 
uh, to evening roll call. So we're going to have to skip a whole day now. Uh, we're going to go and uh, I might just do this one, this next task and then that will be it for this video. So we don't really have anything we can really use. But we're going to go and get the plans in one fell swoop. Good evening, gentlemen. I am pleased to see you are all here. Dismissed. Right. Now, um... Do, do not speak to the guards when you're in uniform. And try not to linger either. What was that noise? Guten Tag. In, so you need to make sure that you're in a position where he can't see you. Uh, I always go up to the second floor and the reason why I do that is because it's easier then to Safe state down very, 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 very quickly.
Guten Tag, Kamerad. God, how many? How much did I just get? Oh my Jesus! Good morning, gentlemen. It appears you are all present and correct. Dismissed. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go to the morning exercise and see what that that, uh, that back guard in the uh, prison exercise area can actually offer. I think he can offer me something rather cool. Or is it actually him? Uh, is that him? Yes. Go on. Join the other prisoners, American. I have nothing for you at this time. Okay, nothing for me at the moment. Let's talk to the Major. Captain. Hold you, I can do it, Major. The plans are ours. Quiet, Captain. If we are over here, we are finished. We will discuss this later in the barracks. It's as we suspected, Wing Commander. Jerry's using this camp as a cover for a weapons research facility. Looks like they're assembling a long-range rocket. A rocket that could strike at virtually any city in the world. Good God! Right under our noses! No wonder they bunged you in the cooler for snooping around. Any idea how far they've got? This schedule suggests they could begin testing as early as this winter. What's this man doing here? This is a British operation. Well, not any longer, Colonel. I beg your pardon? What's your name, Airman? Most remiss of me, Colonel. This is Captain Stone of the United States Air Force. He retrieved the plans after your... Uh, unfortunate encounter. Colonel Harding here reports to the Special Operations Executive in London. Lucky them. Captain, I suggest you watch your... Hello? It's General Stahl. Stahl? He's bad news. We we'll have to move fast. Major, did your radio boys get that transmitter up and running? Just about, sir. Good. We simply must fill in Whitehall. And while you're at it, have one of the chaps make a copy of these plans. Better safe than sorry. Good morning, gentlemen. 
I am pleased to see that, as usual, you are all... Thank you, Herr Commandant. I will take over from here. But, General... Dismissed, Commandant! It appears that a few of you have seen fit to abuse the rights more than generous hospitality. Some of my personal documents have been stolen, an act which will not go unpunished. Guards, search the compound. Which would not go unpunished. <laughs> Sir, we have them! Commandant, this time you have been fortunate. The prisoner responsible will be transferred immediately to Kolditz. Let us see if he finds the cold confines of the castle a more fitting place to see out the war. See out the war! <laughs> Let this be a lesson to you all, gentlemen. Double camp security and half the prisoners' food rations. There will be no further transgressions. Transgressions! Can the transmitter be patched up, Major? I am afraid not, sir. We are off the air permanently, but at least the guards failed to find a copy of the plans we made. Perhaps we could smuggle them back to London through the, uh, uh, you know what. The tunnel! Sir, we cannot afford another betrayal. Oh, calm down, Major. I think we can trust our American friend by now. In fact, look, Stone, it's like this. Some of the men have been working on a tunnel in preparation for a mass escape. What say you tag along and take the plans with you? You bet. I got a score to settle with his General Stahl. And I'll bet he'll have a real bad day once the bigwigs back in London find out what he's up to. Very well. But ventilation in the tunnel is still insufficient. We require something to drive the air pump. A set of bellows would be ideal. Perhaps you would be so kind as to fetch some for us, Captain. And we're going to have to do that next time, guys, because this is where I'm going to finish this video. So we're on day five, so we've done quite a lot in the five days we've been here. I have obviously skipped a few days. And I am going to now pause the video because my cat is uh, sitting on the floor looking at me with the intent of like, you know, I'm here, I want you to give me attention, I want you to give me lots of fuss. So I'm going to pick her up in a minute and put her on my lap and give her some fuss. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.